Well, and hello, and uh, welcome to uh, what I think is probably a COVID ridden summer sex because I am full of something, and it seems as though everybody around here is going down with this latest COVID bug. But what the hell? So, uh, a quick update we have acquired a new loco, which some of you may have seen, which is 60. Uh, one no five one foot or whatever sixty something fifty foot and uh, Charles Babbage my brain's gone as well which I picked up second hand off a well known uh, sales site which I'm sure you all know heavily weathered so it goes nicely with the uh, tankers which uh, keep up with it mark which it's coupled with and it's petroleum sector so it works wonderful. There has also uh, been some other bits I picked up, which are the uh, shell tankers, which Charles Babbage is just passing there when I went over to um, the uh, West Camel Railway, uh, Northern Railway show just after Christmas, where Charlie Bishop of Bird uh, done such a good job of uh, publicising it, you couldn't move. It was absolutely heaving. Well, I've managed to pick them up, so that was something. And the other thing that happened, and I still don't know what, where this has come from. Where I can find it. There it is. A dogfish wagon has arrived. Now, I didn't order this. It's come with a loading. So, some kind of person has sent it to us. And we have absolutely no idea why. And you probably also just noticed there's a pin stuck in the track there, and you're wondering why. Well, things have been happening slowly over Christmas. A puddle in the marsh. So we'll give you the quick update. So bear with me for two seconds. So as Charles Babbage goes past again. You can see that um, a helix has gone in somewhat in place. It still stood on a uh, little table at the minute, but it is basically in the right place. And there's some extra bits of timber, as you can see, gone in there, which is forming the frame. So the basics are all in, ready to do the helix uh, and the next level underneath. So, that's where I'm up to with it at the minute. A piece of track shows you where it's going to go, so it should work out all right. He says, hopefully. Just got a little bit of um, landscaping to do afterwards, so we'll see how we go with that. I'm somehow going to put a top on here and cover it over so it isn't just a helix it will have a top on it you know so that there'll be something else goes on it and hopefully when we've done all this underneath everything that's in there except for the uh, double O stuff that's uh, sat on the top there which is uh, somewhat of my prized possession at the minute because those things are um, 50 years old my dad made those years ago the 33 on the right there, he hand built and painted as I understand it. You got to bear in mind I was uh, under 10 when this happened. And uh, the, one of the bogies, the one that has the drive in it, and it's ridiculously heavy for what it is, actually says Meccano on it. So if anybody has any idea what that might be or how come it's Meccano, please let me know. But I do know he built all three of those. So they're my prized possession at the minute. Anyway, that's uh, what I've been up to. The Helix has actually got one more layer on it from when uh, you saw it earlier, or should I say last year, when I'd actually made it move because when I got the wood for the, uh, the new table, because if, if you actually notice, the layout has now been turned around 180 degrees. It's now completely round. These pieces here 
these ones were going to be 3B2 like these but um, they became available for nothing so I used them so I'll use the uh, extra layer to give me the height to get in otherwise it would get a bit tight underneath with all that so there's where we stand at the minute so just a quick Covid ridden update just to show you that I've been doing or not been doing this as case maybe or I should say that uh, the 60 Charles baggage was actually uh, my Chrissy Pressy from the lovely Emma so uh, thank you Emma for that because I've been wanting another one of those for quite a while and she also got me uh, a couple of uh, containers as well so that's a, a 40 foot one there that uh, is on and the other one as you might have seen is sat in the cider works because I've got nowhere else to put it at the moment but we'll sort something may well end up being that I'll do another uh, couple of uh, mega frets on that uh, train in the end we'll see anyway that's a short update of what's happening sorry if it's a bit vague but I feel more than a bit vague at the minute I've got a right pain in my eyes and a pain in the head so I just thought I'd give you an idea of what we're doing. So thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you again another time. Bye. Well, I've just come to uh, edit the two bits of film together and I was about to upload to YouTube when I've just noticed that I've gone over 600 subscribers which has come as a great shock so uh, welcome to all those who've uh, joined and um, welcome to the fun and antics that is Pedal in the Marsh and for those of you that don't know there is also a sister channel called The Innocent Tales of Piddle Folk now if you haven't got a, yeah, shall we say, a carry-on type sense of humour, don't go and have a look. Because um, it is all a bit on the uh, smutty side and innuendo. Some people like it, like myself, because it's the side of humour that I was brought up with. And others don't. So you have been warned. But uh, if you want to have a look at it, The Innocent Tales of Piddle Folk is also on YouTube. So anyway, thank you very much for uh, 600 subscribers. You've really surprised me. I didn't expect that. Thank you very much. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Hopefully COVID-free. Bye.